Okay, we live. We are live. Hey, Woo! everybody. It looks oh, like on the invite, on. we're going to have a good turnout. Looks like a few are here already. Hi, Il Ilyanka is here. You're early this time. Remember, Ilyanka, what I tell you? You're never late. <coughs> You're never ever late. <laughs> so don't worry. There's Dara and Colleen. Hi, Hi Colleen. So we're glad you're here. <coughs> I heard a bunch more said they were coming, and a lot of maybes, too. Yeah, so, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, I decided to do those invites, and I hope nobody feels like I'm intruding on them and spamming them, but uh, a lot of people said that they were glad that I did them because they forget about it, you know. I might say, oh, we're going to do this or that, and they forget about it. If they get that, then they mark their calendar or whatever, so that's all good. It's all good stuff. So let's just wait a second or two to see if we get yeah. a few more before I start in so they don't miss a lot of it. I'll just take a little drink of my water. Drink that water. Colleen says the beaded heart is beautiful. Isn't it? Didn't Javi take a nice picture of it oh, too? Yeah. We're going to work with that a little bit today. It's a beautiful picture. To the best of my ability. You know I'm kind of... The ones that were in the class this morning uh, know this is not my best day. <laughs> But you know what? We worked through it, didn't we? Hi. We worked right through it. Hi, so it, it all it all worked out okay. And I really, I'm so glad to share these things with you. A lot of you kind of basically know this already, but a lot of people don't. And it's so fun and so pretty. And not everybody does beading like this. I mean, there are some, of course there are. But, you know, this is kind of like assembly John Wire. You know? That's why I guess I relate to it so much. But, um... The thing will be to graduate <clears throat> to stuff that looks more like Miriam Haskell, even than this does, and um, to try to get the sense of it. And, and that, in that case, I think maybe I'm a good one to teach that because, hi, Sharon. You know, I may not be the best one at the, the technique, although most days I'm pretty confident. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I understand it. I understand that jewelry. I've always loved it. I understand the company. I know a lot about the company and a lot about their jewelry. So, you know, you get it from the historical angle and also from, you know, how can you adapt it? Because it's very hard to do it exactly like them because we don't have the parts, for example. Hi there. I'm so glad you're here. See what she, she said. Says, yeah, yeah, I remembered. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you did. I don't know who you are, though. Who are you? Tell me. Yeah, you got to tell us. So I can use your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you remembered, too. That's great. Hey, Kate. Got the pasta sauce simmering at the stove. We cracked a couple of beers for Micah. Oh, Mike will be fine now. Mike's fine. Kate, you can you can stay for the whole show. Yes. <laughs> you can. That'd be great. Kate and Mike are my good friends down in Marietta, so I know... What Mr. Mike likes. <laughs> Colleen says it's been a long day for yeah, you. Yeah, it has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little tired, plus I had... Can't I'm not going to go into it because it's, like, long and boring, and yeah. it'll be okay anyway. But I had some stuff um, on our business. Uh, somebody got into our ODJFS, which is, that's unemployment insurance, and I tried to get it fraudulently. So... It wasn't that hard to fix, but there are some other things I have to do now. And they're not so hard to fix either. There's just a lot of hurry up and wait, you know, how you have to get on the phone and yeah. wait for them to pick up and you know, all this. <laughs> you know, it can all be fixed, you know. Nothing bad has happened yet. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of like, <laughs> I swear I'm wearing a kick me, kick me sign, but I just have to stay calm and just keep carrying on because that's what I'm here to do. And I know a lot of people right now are having trouble carrying on or being inspired, so it won't help at all if I throw in the towel. But I am going to take a nap when I'm done here today. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one of those beers too, okay? Hey, I'm not, not a big beer drinker, but sometimes beer will just take the edge yes. off a little bit. Hi, Allison. What a day, Kate said. <laughs> yeah, what a oh, day. Oh, Marianne. That's what her name is. Oh, it's Marianne. Just, just a, a casual fan of your work. Well, Aw, I'm, I'm glad you weren't too casual to come, dear. Hi, Ginger. 
And we're so glad you're here. The more the merrier. We're trying to get more people to come. Hi, Ginger, honey. It's so nice to see you here. Oh, I see so many familiar. Hi, Andrew Schubert's yeah. here. I always feel like Miss Barbara. <laughs> I do. I do. You got to be of a certain age to, to get that, though. I think most of you girls are. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm just going to get started. Um, before I get into the blue piece, so I know everybody's waiting on that. Because that's the one that uh -huh. we started last week, remember? We started it, and I only wrapped just a few. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? I'm so glad you can be with us today, too. Um, <clears throat> we started, we only wrapped a couple, the bigger pieces. And that's, you know, what I like to do. I like to make my freeform wire form, which Miriam Haskell did a little of that. But usually they had a more formal background, like a piece of brass. Um, in the war years, they used plastic, but it was a form, you know, like a, a circle, a disc with perforated holes in it, you know, because uh, different materials were hard to get in World War II. So they did a lot of that. <clears throat> but I prefer, rather than stay with that rigid thing, this is where I depart from that, is I like to make my own wire form, which we certainly can do. We love wire. We work with wire a good bit over here, and so do you. So I just thought, hey, let's go for it. That's the way I've been doing it for quite a while now. So I started it, and I got, like, the one shoulder of the heart done and some wrapping in it. If you guys didn't get to see it last week, just back up one video yep. on the video tally out there, you know, on my video channel, and you'll see it's there. We, it was very well received. We had over 500 views so far. That's really good for us. And we're not one of those super content uh, creators who has like 2,000 views inside the first 30 minutes. I don't even know how that happens. I keep trying to find out. I don't know how that happens. But you know, I don't really need that. What I need is people just like you. And I know there are more of you out there. So I'm trying to find more. Because the more, the better for all of us. The more, the better. Better for all of us. <laughs> this, she says, I craft and paint. That's great. Yeah. Good. Kate. Now, Kate's greeting Marianne. She dabbles in jewelry, work wrap wrapping resin, Ooh. plays a lot of different media. Okay. Yeah, we got the, all this on our channel. <laughs> yeah. Our, our channel is, is stinking full of that. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you've watched some of the videos before, you know. But That's right now, true. we're kind of merging into this. Uh, wire stuff to make uh, the use the tiny check beads because everybody's so into those tiny check beads, you know. Yes. And usually they're like a geometric pattern and all that, you know. But I, I, it's not just it's just not calling my name, guys. I don't know how you feel, but when I see those things, and of course, then they put the pattern there, and you're supposed to follow the pattern, you know, and you'll get it done. And I'm like, my brain just doesn't work that way. Period. The end. I can't read those patterns properly. I start to follow it, and I'm like, what are, what are we doing? You know, it just doesn't work for me. So I have to sit there mentally and look at it and see, can I figure this out? Sometimes I can, and it's not. It turns out it's not hard at all. But other times it's just no clue, just no clue. I just, I just forget it. And also, you know, I don't like working on a lot of tiny beads because, you know, I'm an old gal, and I my eyes aren't what they used to be, so... You know, I don't like getting headaches over it, but I could get a magnifier and stuff and enjoy my beating more, so I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so anyway, we're using the wire form, which last week is what we did. So if you want to go back and see how to do the wire form, I'm not going to take your time this week to do it again because it's there. So just go back to the other video, which was last Friday, and watch it. And yeah, it's an hour and a half long. But, you know, just watch the parts that look good and fast forward through the rest. You know? So anyway, totally uh, it's all good stuff. And, you know, here's the thing I was thinking. Hey. Dawn's here. Yeah, Dawn's here. Great. And so is, I forget. Oh, Dawn. I remember inviting you, Dawn. It's so <laughs> nice to see ones that I haven't seen for a while and... And then here they are. They came. It, it worked, you know. So, yeah, there are a lot of members in that group. There are 6,000 members in that yeah, group. There so is. I couldn't possibly go through the whole list, but I go as far as I can. I don't like to hit select all because there are people there that I know would not be probably wanting to see this. Oh, Gloria. So I, I, I don't. I, I choose, you know, who I think will come. So that's, hey. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Gloria's back, too. She's back for more. 
Marianne said qu- quality over quantity. Yeah. Yeah, I always say that. That's true. But we do have video every Friday, and we had a class this morning, Marianne, in case you don't know, there's a mixed media class going on. It's our May workshop. And we're finishing that up, so I was on morning and afternoon for a while. So I've yeah. been on for a lot today. But uh, I'm so glad to be back with you, and I feel kind of relaxed, and uh, and it's all going to be good. So let me just show you. So I said I wasn't going to show you the wire, wire form again. There's no point in that. Um, I'll show you a little bit about the beading of it, but I'll show you mostly by a, fi- a finished piece. Now, last week, you might remember, I had this one. Looks like a wreath, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know I where like I put the... Okay, that's supposed to be up. I don't know, though. <laughs> I don't know. Looking at this, and Colleen, I want you to tell me what you think, because you're a big brooch person. Oh, She's big into brooch. brooches, you know. She's Brooches are big for Colleen, okay? Yeah. So... Colleen, and the rest of you are welcome to say something, too. Please do. I love it. Um, I think this should be a brooch because it's really built up. And here's another reason why I think it should be a brooch, okay, is because you can have a lot of chotch on a brooch, and it's okay. But on pendants, sometimes you have to be careful. If you have a lot on it, maybe it needs to dangle something or, you know, be kind of not too dimensional on it, you know, because then it's hard to beat it up and have the beads up here on this part look right with what down here. Yeah. Have you guys ever noticed that? Like some people bead this big thing and, and then they'll, and it's very beautiful, but then when they go to bead it, they're using four millimeter beads all around in one strand. Mm. And that's not wrong. If you like that look, I don't. I don't like that look. It just it's out of kilter to me. What I might do is do some formula bead reads for a little while, but then I'd put some big ones in there and maybe go back to a few formula and put some big ones in there. You know, did that balance it out that way? That's how I look at it because to me, mm-hmm. I see Miriam Haskell in these pieces, but I also see old Czech Niger Brothers slash that kind of stuff from that that period. And I see a lot of things in it because I'm super into vintage. But so when I got this put together, because this is the one I did get made from last week. I had two of them. I had this one and I had this one. This one was a little smaller, so I decided I'd go ahead with this one last weekend and finish it. So I did. So um, I got my chain on. Everything on this is wired. I didn't even use jump rings up the sides. I only use a jump ring back here. And the attachment is also with wire. I did not use jump ring. I use a I use a prefab lobster, which you know that's to be expected. And there's um one jump here and one jump here, and that's it. And I didn't make those jumps. Everything else is wired on. But I went to put this on, and I'm looking in the mirror, and it's very pretty. I'm sure somebody would probably even buy it. But the chain should probably not been hardwired so to speak you know how you you wire one piece into the next piece and you mm-hmm. don't put it down it it wants to kink up some places and i thought it was doing really good even um wrapping but when i look at it no it ain't too good you know so i'm like you know i put so much effort into this let's use the jumps up here it'll be more fluid and I'll, it'll probably look better so <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do on that so i'll take it off but um the way I attached it, got it going, is I made a little, like a, I don't know what you call that. An arch, maybe? Arch, uh, it's a, like a beaded arch here. Yeah. You know, beaded piece. I mean, we make stuff like that all the time, all of us. So what Colleen say? says there's a lot of glass beads, leaves on one. It's probably a little heavy goat brooch. But that's yeah. just me. It's no, no, you know, <laughs> it's not so heavy, Colleen. It's just bulky. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think they were heavy neither when I was holding no, them. No, but it's bulky. It's deep. It's got a lot of dimension in it, you know. So anyway, so this one was a lot smaller. I did it. I finished it. I see a couple little places where I need to tweak it. For example, you know, I always say I don't like to see wire showing on the motif. And I see it in a few places, and in a few places of it, it just can't be helped. And, you know, and a little bit is not a problem. A lot is. But I see, like, right here, i got to hide this. i got to go back in there and do that. And then... These are tended, tending to get a lot of beads on the back, too. This one, not so much. This one, more. 
And that's okay because it, it adds to what's on the front, usually. A few times you just get it on there and it's not doing anything, which is no good because then it's a waste. But then what I did is I made a... Hi, Let me see if I could show you. Hi! So I made like a beaded um, veil here with these little forget-me-not beads, which are just so wonderful. We just had a whole bunch more of them come in. Some of them were replacements. So if you need some, boy, do we got them. Um, so I just made a bail with it, and I put the little flower in the middle, and that was that. Did that, put it on there, and then I beat it up the sides. But I'm gonna take this all apart, and the sad thing about it is when you hardwire it, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it because that's the best name for it, <laughs> is like, you can't just take this apart and save it usually. Once in a while, you can cut it close enough in here with a loop if you made them big enough, that you can use some of them, again, the way they are. But most of them, you just have to take them apart and redo the whole dang thing. So if you're going to do that, think hard about it. And, and maybe your technique is better than mine. I've been doing this a long time, but I've always done the wonky style, and I was trying to be real precise. But yeah, it'll kink up a little bit, so that's no good. I don't like, see? See what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, don't like that. You know, probably what I needed was for these two holes here to be bigger. Maybe not. I know if I put jumps in there, I don't have any problems. This is not going to be an issue. So I'm just going to have to go back and do it. And that's it. She says, I think a suede cord would look for the necklace maybe doubled. Yeah, it would. But then, to me, Ginger, it would have a great look. But it's too contemporary to me for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get something in the style of a vintage piece. And a vintage piece might not have used this way. But then, but then, in the war years, in World War II, Miriam Haskell used a lot of natural materials. So maybe I might have to eat crow on that. But... Uh, you're not wrong, of course, Ginger. I mean, you're a much better beater than I am anyway. But um, I'm just thinking for myself, I'd like to use the check flowers. But, you know, if you make one of these, and I hope you will, um, you do it your way. You know, if you don't think that's necessary, then put this. It should be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Well, I could have saved a couple of hours not done that. So I just might have to, as much as I'm resisting it, Ginger, I might just have to try it. And I might <laughs> find out that you're so, so right. So, but I didn't on this one, so I don't have to take this apart. I'm not going to do it right now. We all know how to do that stuff, so there's no reason in demoing. But there is one little uh, flaw here with this piece, too, I wanted to show you and just let you know it can be fixed. Is when I took my picture for the group to put on the internet, um, you'll notice this is kind of caved in a little bit right here. Yeah, I see that. You know, and we don't want that. That's not good. So how that happened was when I was working on this so intensely, I pushed on it too much. But all I have to do is just get under there and pull it back out. That's the beauty of a wired piece. Get in there and pull it back out. And what I might have to do, I might have to take this leaf out and put it back in. So, oh, I thought, I thought. It's just like I was telling the ones that were in the class out. this morning. Don't, Javi was making the little snow owls. Yeah. And we were talking about putting the, the hole in. Now and how to do it and what would be best in it. You had to be careful that if you pushed on the epoxy sculpt to put the hole through, you'd get the whole little out, misshapen, you know, and you wouldn't like that. So um, it's the same principle with this. So yeah, I can get that hold right out. I'm just, I may have to work with a little bit because I don't want to break my beads. But you can see it's already starting to come out. Yeah, but I'm just gonna have to get in. I'm gonna have to redo that little part. You know, it's just, I want to show you this so that you can see what you might expect as you're learning, okay? Because I am not the consummate beater. I'm the first one to tell you that. I don't even consider myself a beater. But this is assemblage of beads on wire, and I just feel like, okay. Plus, I love it. I do. I find it to be so relaxing. I can sit for hours and do this and don't even notice time go by. You know, it's just, I just, I lose myself in it. And sometimes, you know, we need stuff we can lose ourselves in. A lot of people have been saying that um, they're in a slump, and I'm like, that scares me a little bit because normally we don't hear that till August. Yeah. And we hear sure. that, but we don't hear it till August. But I just think as all the stuff going on in the world, 
and um, just the stuff we're dealing with on our own personal terms. You know, every time I turn around, there's a problem here. And it's, I've never had a time like this where it's just so many things, one, two, three, just day after day after day after day. And uh, I just, I'm just, I'm just totally not going to give in to the drama of it. I'm not. If I feel like it's too much, I'll go lie down till I feel a little bit better, but I am not going to give in to the drama because it won't help anything. So I'm just going to keep going. So if you're one of those that's having a little trouble, get your beads out and push them around, play with them a little bit, put a few on a piece of wire, and just mess around with it. Yeah. And in time, you're going to be fine. You're going to be after it. You know, I'll tell people sometimes put a bunch of cute components in a pile and see how many pair of earrings you can make out of it. You can give them away for gifts. Uh, Joe said you can add a few beads on a sway cord. You could do that, too. You um, could do that. There's a lot of ways you could do it. Ginger was saying, I was thinking about a uh, price point for selling. You're right. That's true, you're right. You got that, too. This would be more expensive. Uh, Alice, Allison said I would just take away a re... re- we, Every other one. Oh, okay. I see what use jump rings and then you only have to wrap half of them. Yeah, that might work. Or but chain I, I, too. Yeah, I was saying, Allison. Sometimes you can take some some out, um, and some it won't work. You have to redo them. I may rethink them entirely. You know, but I mean, this doesn't not work. It's just not optimum. And as was pointed out, this would be a more expensive piece and. Um, it might take a while to sell, or I'd end up just giving it away, which I think is a little better than that. But you're right. The cord thing would definitely help a lot with that. And then you could concentrate your efforts more on the centerpiece, and it wouldn't look bad at all. I'm just trying so hard to keep it more true to the period, you know. But maybe we don't have to do that. You know, I'm going to think about that really hard. I really am. Because what I teach you in building, you got to watch how much you spend, you know. So now what am I doing? I'm not even listening to my own advice. So, yeah. But anyway, that's what happened on this. And I wanted to share that with you, you know, how this rolled out. I did make earrings to go with it. They're very simple. Mel said to me, you know, if you decide to go back to making some jewelry and make necklaces, please make earrings to go with your necklaces because they'll sell better. And he's I right. Know that. It's true. Yeah. Do that. To give them a set. You know, and you know, uh, you can hide it in your price a little bit or you can just throw it in because usually earrings don't take that long to make and they don't cost that much either. So, um, and it makes people smile. That's true. And then you give them, the, oh, look it, I got earrings too, you know, when their stuff comes, mm-hmm. so... Anyway, that's what happened with that. So I have a little bit of work to fix it up. So one of these days I'll do that. You can, you know, here's one thought. Hey, I have one more thought before I throw it in the corner here. As Allison would say, do every other one. <coughs> Another way to keep the price down and maybe more true to the vintage look thing would be use these as spaces and find some handsome chain that goes with this and do chain then some beads chain then some beads maybe do three going up the side with chains it would go together fast you just have to find the right chain to go with it you can't use just any old chain it's got to be just the right one and i would say for this stuff you've got to find like a mellow gold for it to look right I think, for me, because I bought an estate with the vintage. But if you don't care, it don't matter. You know, people will buy it anyway. If it's nice and it's pretty, they'll buy it anyway. So, <clears throat> that's just a thought on that. You could just break it up by just putting a few in the chain and be done with it that way. Can everybody hear me? I'm a little bit hoarse. Okay, so if building the line, this would be your... Sh- yeah. Yeah. But, you know... There's a lot of work in this too, but I didn't have the work in this. So yeah, this one would cost more. And then I'd make some kind of a bracelet, but I'd probably just make a real simple bracelet. I'd probably just like rosary bead, you know, a simple bracelet. Because I just don't, you know, when you look at the Miriam Haskell book, if you're fortunate enough to have one, you'll see the different perers, and they're over the top. They're too much, they are just too much. But that was the look of the time. 
So I could just say, well, you know, I'm going to do that anyway, because I'm kind of saying that about the suede cord. Yeah, but I want it to be more like the time. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think your earrings, when you have a bigger piece, I think your earrings should be Hi, simpler. Is that Darcy? Yeah. Hey, Darcy. And there's Lorena. Gloria says, I think it's beautiful. Better late than never seen. How is everyone? Well, we're just hunky-dory. Hunky-dory. We're managing. Gloria, that's a very kind thing that you said. Um, so anyway, your earrings, you don't want, want, want to have like great big old long honking earrings with this because you don't need it. You're, this is the focal. This is what you want the people to look at. You know, then you can make a brooch like that too. Yep. And then a couple simple bead bracelets. You could do one on memory wire with some of these beads and then some less expensive beads too so that it doesn't get too pricey you could do that and that's very true to the period too and then you could do a simple one this is just like one bead one bead one bead like rosary chain you know and just put a clasp on it and honestly i would probably wear that more than anything because i like to stack and layer bracelets when i get dressed up and i would definitely love to use that one that would be a good one so see she's Allison always tries to make matching earrings with whatever I'm working on because I already have all the supplies. I, I'm a super lazy beater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you on that one. Yeah, once you get it all out, you might as well finish, right? I think so, too. I think so, too. So, anyway, so let's move on. We talked about this. Anybody have anything else they'd like to add, and suggestions or advice before we go on to the blue one? Anyway, I love these colors. To me, these are like Fiesta colors. And they're not so, well, you know, ha Haskell got over the top, of course. I don't know if they'd use that many colors. I have to research a little bit more. But to me, when I look at this, this reminds me of old Czech. It's what we used to call heavy duty Czech, which now we know it's Niger Brothers. You know, there was color, and the old Czech jewelry, they're color all over the place. Just color all over the place. So, I happen to like these colors. To me, they're Fiesta colors. Okay, this is my kitchen has these colors even, you know. But, um, yeah. like the idea, yeah, it keeps the cost down. Yeah. So I'm thinking, maybe that's an idea too. Before I go all hog wild on this, is probably look for some chain to use with it. Yeah. That's a nice Yep, yep, yep. Cut it down a little bit. Okay, so. Having said that, let's move on to the blue. Because people like, you know, I, I noticed. When I showed the blue, everybody's like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And then I put this up, and I didn't get a lot of comments. And I'm thinking, it's probably the color. I mean, they just don't like it. I don't know, but it's probably a color. So, and that can that can prevent a sale, too. You might like the colors, but nobody else does. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> just because they're Fiesta colors doesn't mean anybody else sees it that way. I always see people like purple, but they don't. What did you say? <laughs> Speak I up, said I girl. always think they, people like purple, but they don't. <laughs> I think people like purple. You guys like purple? I don't know. You know what? This is about the color one. purple. I always say that. It cries out wanting to be loved. It's like, look at me. I think red's like that too, though. <laughs> oh, okay. It cries out wanting to be loved. Okay, so here's my heart. Here's my heart. I'm really, for the most part, real happy with this. Nobody's ever late, Susan. No. And what a woman you. that you mowed huh. first. Hilarious. I wish I could mow the yard. I like to work hard. I don't have a problem with that, but I can't do it. Mm. I can't do it. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? My dad never let me mow the yard, but I would do it if I could. No, I, I can't like do it, no. Oh, really? No, I'm a weak A clean. riding mower is pretty fun. Well, we have those zero <laughs> turns. Anyway, let's get back to this. We'll not talk about that. Anyway, so this is <laughs> a heart. And the one criticism I would have of my heart is that I should have messed with the form a little bit more to make it more of a heart. And then when I got to here, to this part, I should have put one of these bigger beads there. I think that would have been better. Let's see what you think. I think I have one or two in here. Oh, no, no. You can just throw it on there and see what you say. Oh, well, okay, I did. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Even adding any small metal beads. Sure. That's true. 
Sure. Woohoo! I think I'll fix that up like that tonight. Tonight. Okay, so if I think it would look better if I'd had another one of these. In there. That's me. Maybe not. Maybe I'm fine. Because it's chunky enough, it's got enough balance. Or maybe I should have put more flowers in there or something. I don't know. But um, I think this is pretty good. And you know, one of the things I like is I did a little extra element after it was done. I just wonder how this would look. It's kind of a little surprise. So I had three lily beads, the little check lily beads. And I have some little seed beads, which although I don't like seed beads, I always have a few around because they do come in handy. Oh, yes, they do. Um, and I just put them like three together, you know, threaded the seed bead through and um, it's like a little flower. So put three of them together, twisted it, put it in there and it worked. If it hadn't, no big deal. I would have saved it for something else, but it worked. And even though it comes out a little far in here, I think the balance is right. <clears throat> so I don't know if I have one in here else because I'd like to show you how that went. But I used up a lot of this stuff, and I don't want to dump it all out. Hmm, I should have thought of that. Just give me a second. The heart is so sweet. Huge fan of purple. <laughs> Thanks, who's it, who's Dawn. It, who's that? <laughs> oh, Dawn. She likes purple. I like purple. Yeah. Purple. I must have used them all up. It looks. Nope, nope, nope. I'm lying. I'm lying. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. No, stay I see. Don't move. I know, right? When it moves. Don't us. move. That's when it, it irritates me. Okay. All right. So I'll show you how I did that just in case you're not much into beating and you're like, what are you talking about, Brenda? See, why don't you just show us? Okay. I'll show you. All right. I got to get up in here and get my big long head pins. Yeah. Come on, you. Yeah, come on. Here we go. There's one. Oh, Ball and head bins would be nice for this too. I just had a few come in, but I don't have them back up. They probably won't be for a week because that stuff takes time. All kinds of cord ends and head pins, eye pins, and stuff. It's going to take time to get those up. Now, obviously, she ain't working no more this week. So <laughs> just forget. That's what she said. I'm coming back Sunday. That's what she said. Okay, so what I did with this was I took a little piece off, maybe, you know, about this long. I always like to have cut off more than I need because I, I'd rather have more than not enough. That's me. I would have more than not enough. I can see what I've got in here. This little tiny bead. I don't have a seed bead here. But I do have some little flower beads, so oh, you never I'm going to try to party. Here. No, nobody's ever late. Nobody's ever late. Nobody's. Don't even Hi, say girl. that word. Love, love, love those colors. That word's said. not loud. So curious about your technique. Well, we have a, a my video. technique works, but it's but <laughs> I don't know how much technique it is. Anyway, you saw me put, um, but I'm doing my best, and you will learn from this because people have. Okay, so that's the proof in the pudding. Okay, um, this is 28 gauge wire, by the way, guys. Some people say they want to use 24. If you like that, that's what trip your, trips your trigger and is going to work, do it. But it's just for stuff like this that I like to keep it lighter. Um, so, so I'm going to try something. So I don't have a seed bead here, which is really what I need is a seed bead. Where's a seed bead when you want it? You got bokus of them when you don't need them. Yeah, I was wondering where you had those. Okay, so... Okay, so I just I just threaded that on. And what I want to do is go back through this way. So let's see what happens. So I need to get this pulled out so I have plenty of room. And I go back through the same hole. And that's another reason why you want 28 gauge because usually you can get through it again. See, this is going right through. If that was 24, I doubt that it would. You'd only yeah, make one pass. That's That'd be true. that. You know, Maybe so. That so let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's looking weird. <laughs> because it needs to be a seed bead, okay? But you get the point. I, th I put it through and then beat it back around, and that's how you get this cute little look of on the ends. 
It's those little beads. I just can't believe it. Either. Oh, oh, I lied. Oh, she cried out. Did I scare you? I hope not. I found <laughs> some. So let's just do that again. Let's just found do that some. again. I thought I didn't have any in here. I do. I lied. Oh, no. How do you know if you didn't know? <laughs> okay, I have plenty of them. So let's get them on out here. I should get this done. Let's get them on out here. And like I say, too, you know, we're not showing the whole deal on here. So if you want to see how I did it from the ground up, you're going to have to go back to last week's video and watch it. And then come back and see this one, okay? So I'm taking this out, and I'm starting over, baby. But this time it's going to work because I have the right item. And these are little, I think these are um, the 11s, maybe. I think there's the 11s. I'm not good on seed bead sizes. I know I use the sixes often as spacers. You know, I don't do any seed bead work. But anyway, right now, okay, so I've got my little tool up on there, and now I'm gonna thread this guy on. I can just get him straight. Okay, he's on. All right, good. Now I go back through the hole again, and once again, like I say, this is why you use 28 gauge, because you can get through it again, if you do. Use heavier stuff, I don't think that's gonna happen. And just pull it up, pull it up as tight as you can. Aha! So you still see it did go to the side, but it's all right because it's flat. And that's the same way as these. So this, that worked out fine. Okay, so now I've got this. And if I want, I could even put a little seed bead up the stem and, and I put a drop of glue or even a crimp. I could make a whole bouquet of pretty flowered, free form flowers, <laughs> flowered flowers. Okay, so I got that. Or I could do it this way even. Let's do it this way. Put this on there. I, these aren't even the same. I'm going to just clip this off. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, this kind of stuff is not something that, you know, you're going to do quick. Yeah. So you have to be a little patient and not expect too much of yourself at first. One of my favorite parts. Okay. All right, so... Yeah, maybe do it like that. Maybe what you could do is take a tiny little crimp and come up here and crimp it right under that bead. And then you could just, you know, use it just like that. I've, for a long time, I've wanted to make a flower basket brooch and full of stuff like that. I did make one years ago and I loved it. And I think I have the picture someplace, but um, I never did it again for some reason. So it would have to be freeform art too, I think. But, you know, that's, you could do that. But anyway, that's pretty much how that was, except I didn't put these last two beads on there. Okay? So, I think there needs to be something at the top of the heart that would bring the center of the heart down. And, well, that's what I'm going to do. You're ahead of me, Colleen. That's what I'm going to do or attempt to do. Um, I did it fine on this one. If you notice on this one, there is a bale. That's what holds this on here. There's a bale, and there's a heart in the middle of it. So that's what I want to do. Okay, so we're just that's so you're on the same page as me. Yeah. I think so too. So maybe that's what makes up for it not being in the thing itself. Okay, so I was working on my little arc or whatever you want to call it to go here. So I have it pretty well beaded up. I wish I'd had more blue in there. Maybe I should have used some blue seed beads in that. Hmm. Well, I'll use them in other places. What do you guys think? Should I take this apart? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Carol. Yeah, that's another thing you could do too, put a little beaded drop in here. Um, I think I wouldn't even mind that, except this is kind of sticking out into a little bit more, and I like this unexpected little prize. Should I take this apart and put some blue in it? Maybe. What do you think, Todd? Blue what? Okay, these seed beads, I didn't think I had any, so uh, I just yeah. used these, but since the seed beads are all through in here, I probably should just take this apart and put a few in there. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, you could try that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. No. Okay, so to do it, let's, let's just take some more. Go in the center. 
That would be oh, hard. That's not too bad. That's a good idea. That would be hard. Said so one of those little tiny teardrop beads would look cool in the center of that tulip. Yeah. Too. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. That'd yeah. actually look really pretty. No, it'd be very pretty. If there was enough room in there. Yes. I don't worry about it hitting this. But that's anyway, so but I like your idea, Carol. That's a great idea. And thanks for coming, by the way, too. Yeah. Okay, so here. I'm just going to hold on to this so I can just see if I can stab the seed bead and get it on because my eyes are just not that good. Normally when I work with them, I just get under them on the string and just pull them off that and they're just right there. But um, I didn't think I had any, so there you go. I'll just stab it and push it on. Stab it and push it on. Okay, so I got two on that side. I got to hold it. So that uh, I don't have some kind of, you know, I don't have any bead stop or anything here. So, um, don't you run away. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed they like to run away? Come here. You're getting stabbed. All right. That's one. <laughs> Princess Sparkle, Ro. Hey, Ro. How you doing? I'm, she said I'm stupid busy today at work, but wanted to come. She and said, howdy. Oh, so howdy. Bless your heart. Thank you. I'm so glad Thanks. you did. Thanks. And so glad you did. You're a fun gal. Okay, so said, I put a little bit in there. Somebody said twist the wire gently <coughs> together instead of crimping. Crimp. Yeah. That might That's be okay, but I just don't know. Yeah. I'd probably do that and crimp it. <laughs> Kate said, yeah, add some seed beads. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm putting a few seed beads in there. Now I've got one of these old cones. If you haven't seen these yet, these are like an ochre type color with or honey, they call it. With a turquoise wash, I am over the moon for these. These little tiny flower beads. Oh. You mean the orange ones? Or no, no. This, oh, those. These. Yeah, those I are love nice. them in this color. They just came back in stock, too. Come here, you. Yeah, my, you know, come here, you. Um, my hands start, tend to shake, for those of you that don't know me that good yet. And um, this is the end of a long day, so bear with me. Bear with us now. See, this must have got kinked up in here somewhere because oh. it doesn't want to move. So I hope it doesn't end up taking all of them off. Did you double wire it? No, no this, is, this is on 20 because I want it to be more sturdy. Oh, yeah. yeah it's just being stupid on me here. Mm. I had it all in the middle, now it's kinked up. And if I pull on it, yeah, this, this guy, he's the culprit. <laughs> so he's guy. the bad <laughs> one. Okay, I got him loose. So everything should be cool now. Should be. I have some you can borrow. LOL. <laughs> That's Kate. I have right? some you borrow. Huh. Now, Kate, I can get new ones till yours get here. <laughs> Doesn't take long to get them. But thank you anyway. Yeah. What a pal. Mm hmm. You need pals like that all the time. I like that on Downton Abbey where somebody come in the kitchen and say to the cook, Mrs. Padmore, that, oh, can I have some baking soda? Can I borrow some baking soda? And she'd always say, what, are you going to give it back? <laughs> Every time she'd say that. Are you going to give it back? They probably weren't going to give it back. That's probably why she said Well, no, you're going to eat it. You're going to ingest it. So, no, you're not giving it back. I wouldn't want it back, would you? <laughs> mm. No, I don't want it back. So, I'm just making small beads on this. I don't want any big ones. And I think maybe this one was a little too long. I don't think I need a lot more than this. So... I'm going to put another turquoisey one here. I wish I had some blue ones that were tiny like this. But I don't blue? think I had any. Yeah. There's this greeny. Like an aqua? Greeny, yeah. Well, no, there was this color. There was an aqua color. But this just not quite right. Where did I see it? Aqua. I always say it when I say aqua. Not aqua, turquoise color. Wow. Turquoise. Okay, really? so I got this. I'm okay with this. For the sake of time, I'm just going to do this. If I don't like it later, I'll take it apart, right? Wow, so, I'm losing it today. All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, there my was My wolfies lined up because you know I love my wolfies. And now, I, now you got to be careful. I want to get this oh, good and tight. But, of course, we have to be careful we don't break the bead. Yeah. Because these are fragile. Oh, man. Okay, so just be gentle. And you bend it over. Be gentle, baby. Okay, it's bent over now. Those I'm going to go ahead and bend over the other side, too, so that it'll help me not to lose any off of here when I'm working on it. But I want to do it as like as if I was making it right now. See? I felt it. If I had kept pushing on that, I would have broken that bead. 
Yeah, you gotta be careful. But I want it, so I want it tight. I don't want them rolling all around on it. And they aren't, so I'm good. Okay, so I just need to loop this now. All right? So... I want to get a decent sized loop because I want to go through it with a jump, I think. Okay, so I got a pretty decent bud loop. I think I'll stretch that out just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna get hold of this, like this, love my flat nose, and I'm just gonna twist it around to wrap it a little bit. Make it look kind of finished like. Okay, that has to do. I don't have enough more. All right, so I'll step this off. Now let me see where my tail is. Yeah, this is too far back. Then this could be hard too because these are lumpy, bumpy, and you go to um, press it into place and they don't want to cooperate. I might have to pull this up a little bit. Snip. So now, I'm going to go like this. I keep thinking about that swig board. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Yeah. Even though about my heart resists. Resists thought. You know me, I have to do go all the way out. This stuff's hard not to for me. Okay, so I about got it. So I'm just going to do this one now. And actually, you can do stuff like this all the time. I've done this with the semi brushes beads and all kinds of stuff, you know, to make a centerpiece. That's what I want to say is a centerpiece. Okay, so now i got this going over. Now what I want to do is I'm going to check and see if it's the same size pretty much and i got about the same room to wrap yeah pretty much pretty much pretty good good enough now i'm going to wrap it so i'm going to go around go around, around, around as far as i can that's about it not the wrap of my dreams but it'll do come back and fix it later might have been good to have a little bit more wire. Okay. It'll do, as my granddad used to say. It'll do. For now, till I get better. Okay. Okay, so I have my little centerpiece that this can hang on, okay? So I want to bend it, not too much because I don't want to break any of my beads because they're on there really nice and tight, which is good because that's what we want. So I just want to get looking at this and make sure it's, you know, pretty much the same length on each side. Okay. So it's kind of a U-shape almost, but not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to do my overlay. Now this, for me, is a little hard because I always work it out. You know what I mean? I always work it out as I go along. But you know what? The more I do this, the better I'll get at it. So I won't have to do that. Anyhow, so I'm going to start out with this in the middle. And I'm going to just, to make it nice and secure, I'm going to wrap it. And you can, you can do that because you get between the different beads so it doesn't show. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting between the different beads so it does not show. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to twist it off because, just because, it'll be more secure. I want to make it as secure as I can. So this is the twist off, like this, and around. Do it mm, three, four times. But be careful you don't pull it too much and do it too much because then wire can break. And if you're in the middle of getting something done, then that's really one. annoying. Hi, Beansy. Beans is back. Okay, so now I'm going to start beating it to go over the top and add this one in the middle, this one. Okay, so I think I'll start out with a couple of seed beads. The lady who originally taught me to bead taught me to use crimping pliers to round out that crimp off the tail so it is, isn't poking and laying in the wrap. You can do that too. That's a good, good tip. 
That's a good tip. I usually get mine wrapped in pretty tight, but sometimes they're um, they're not as pretty. You know, the wraps are not as pretty as I'd like them to be. So I didn't have anybody teach me to bead. You know, like I say, um, I'm one of those that you know what it was, Carol and everybody is I loved Mary and Pascal jewelry. The more I looked at them, I'm like, I could do that. I could do that, you know. Uh, yeah, I could do that. So um, I just started messing around with it. And I discovered it's assemblage on wire, and that's what I do. I'm an assemblage artist. So, so I'm really not a beater, but I'm really glad for that tip. I think it's a good one. Okay, I had made a hanger on this, which I'm not going to use, but I'm going to use it for one thing, to stabilize this. So I've got like three little seed beads on there. And I'm just this, I'm eyeballing it, so I may have to go back. There you, did not go through. Why did you not do that? Okay, there we go. And you wanna be careful if you got a long length of wire that you don't kink it, cause that's just not a good look. Okay, they're not entirely straight, they're kind of, long. that's okay. It's okay if they don't stay in a straight line. You're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Be happy. I leave this here. Like, so if you see last week's video, you see I leave tails because sometimes they come in handy. So I left the tail. Okay. One little tail. All right. So now I'm going to start using these guys. You know, I never saw any use for these. I didn't like these things. I never bought them. I didn't want them. And then some people started asking for them, and like, well, don't be a lunkhead. Go ahead and get some, you know. If you want them, go get some. Let's try it. Why not? You know, so I did, and um, it, we do good with them, so. And now I love them, so even if nobody else liked them, I'd be buying them still. At least for me. <laughs> okay, so I got... Uh, like two, three flower spacers, and I changed up the color. I went back and forth between this one and this one. Okay, and so I'm part way over the mountain, so to speak. So I think it's time to try putting one of the focal beads on and see where it hits, okay? Who's hi girls? Who is that? Can you see how Hi seen? girls, that's Lisa. Who? Lisa. Oh Lisa! How you doing? Lisa's here. Okay, so yeah. I think this is falling pretty good. But you know what? I forgot something. Yeah. I forgot something. I need more room in there because it has to go over this. So I'm just gonna gently lay that there and build it up. Good thing I caught that. Because I would have gone back and said, okay, now what? Yeah, I'm not quite ready yet. I've got to make this longer because this is my bail to go over the heart since we're going to do that, right? So I, as you can see, I put my little centerpiece right there so I can make sure that I have enough, you know, to get to the place where I want to put my focal. Okay, this is another place where it might be good to leave them on the strand and just work through the strand and pull them off. And when I tell you that, in case you don't be like me, um, this is what I mean. Okay, ah, uh, come on. Okay, so there's still a few on the strand. What I mean is this, I'm not gonna leave them on, but just so you see, I'm just gonna go through them right here on the strand. and then pull them off instead of trying to stab them. You know, just go through the strand and just pull them off. But I don't, I don't want these here now, so I'm gonna take them off. But I thought, huh, good time to show you that. Good opportunity there, not, don't let me miss it. Okay, so let me put this back and I wanna make it this here so it's like right in the middle. And this bead right here, this bead right here is the middle, okay? So let me see how well that's going to do when it goes over. She said, yes, ma'am. 
Wait. Let's take a couple things. Uh, I think I'm gonna take one off. Says. And now I'm gonna put my big, big one. On. Kate says Bisu has taught me. I started learning from from her in 2010. Huh. Well, you've done well with what I taught you. A few classes over the years, but she is in one I have learned the most from. She is my inspiration and my muse. Aww. Oh, you just love me, Kate. Muse is a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> what she, yeah, said? she said muse is a good thing, right? <laughs> my muse. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much in the middle. So I'm just going to pull that down and pull that over and see where it's going to hit. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I think this is going to work. I don't want to make it so that there's no play on this at all, but I don't want it to be loosey goosey either. So, okay, so now right under there, I think I'm going to put one of these little flower cones like I love. Love, love, love these. Can't get enough of them. Um, yeah. And then I'm just going to finish by putting um, these little flower spacers. And I'm not quite sure how many I need, so I'm gonna have to count them off. One. Count them off. I'm gonna mix them up. Two. Yeah, this would be another Aww. case where it'd be good to just, instead of taking them all this off the, the temp string, just leave them on there and then work off the string, because you can. Lisa said, me too, Kate. Bisu was the one that got me started. <laughs> Oh, come on. You and know, Colin, you, he's you like, are, she has helped you me were so many. Oh, oh, wait, I thought you were Lisa. Many of us. That's not that Lisa. It's Lisa Mitchell. I got you started, Lisa. I did? Well, good. If I helped you, I'm glad. I'm glad. I thought it was Beansy. <laughs> when I met her, she was always painting hearts. She was already doing that stuff. Okay, so remember... We don't have to worry about losing the spec here because we wired through that loop and also we twisted it off. So, you know, we got a little bit of stability here to, to work with. So, okay, so now it's gonna come around. Now what I gotta do is I gotta get enough on here to make it tight and I don't have like a lot of um, wire showing because I didn't put enough beads on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I want to make sure I have enough beads on that to make it bead it all the way up the back. If there are too many, I just take them off. So all I'm going to do is just take them off if it's too many. Okay. You see me? I'm off camera too much. Yep. I'm, I'm sorry. That's your job. Yeah, it is. Uh, you didn't tell me. Uh, Rose says, right now I'm writing about robotic processing and ventilation for painting <laughs> an airplane. <laughs> I wish I was making So for your working. job, she must be writing a man user's manual or something. Oh, man, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I felt a lot of times when I was writing my book. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of technical stuff I had to put down And there's still so much I don't know. I never will. It's complex. Okay, so now I think I've got this pretty tight, but let me turn around and see. Oh yeah. I just don't want these like sliding around on it, you know, and you see a bunch of wire. So I think I think I'm pretty much done with it. So now what I need to do is this. I'm gonna cut it a little bit because it's clumsy at this point. There we go. Okay, and I got my tail here. Aha! Uh -huh. So that tail's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna take a couple off, just a couple. You know, if I don't have them all the way up the back, it doesn't matter, just so like they're, they're tight in the front. That's what I really need. Okay, so I'm gonna start twisting this off. Okay, I need to pull it back up here. Thanks, Harvey. If you know, just tell me. I can bring the camera down. Okay. So there's a little more play on it, but I think it goes to the dimension of this flower that's pushing it back and not cooperating. So I'm not entirely sure what I do about that, but 
Uh, it's not too bad. I'd rather this not be here, this little bit. Let's see what I... Hmm. Push them up from here. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, I probably need another bead or two. So let me see if I can untie it. Yeah, it's not hard. But where I'm going to put it is not on this one that I was working on. I'm going to put it on my tail. Because I think that might be where I'll tighten it up, I hope. There's just a little bit too much play there to suit me. Okay, so now, and I'll take a couple off of here, because I did that. Okay, now let's twist this off. Hope for good things. I don't want to twist it too hard because I might have to take it apart again, you know? Okay, so it still wants to be a little loosey-goosey. And again, it's because, yeah, there we go. No, no, we didn't go. Hmm. I need, like, another one right in here. Let me see what I need to do to make that happen. See what I say? You know, it's, it's, um, trial and error a lot of it. You know, a lot of trial and error stuff. Okay, I gotta get that bent up across there. Oh, you know what? I see what it did. I thought that would provide some stability going through that loop, but it looks like it's interfering with things. So let's do this. Because I do not want to see that wire there. Do not. Let's see if I get that off. I don't know if I can get those seed beads off, but anyway, let's see what we can do to get that tighter. Oops, I lost a few. Oh well. Um, starting to think maybe. Eh, this one have to be good enough for now. I might take it apart again later. But anyway. It's more important to get them looking good on the front, of course, than the back. So, alrighty. So, yeah, it's probably not that well. And remember, we have to have some up here. Let's see if that'll go through. Yep. That's not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it, pull it through, find the other wire. Hmm. Okay. And I still got some, but it's, it's, a, it's a type of bead there. It's okay. I might figure out another solution later, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's going to be all good. You're at the point, right? Sure you do. Because you're smart. Okay. So now I'm just going to keep twisting this. But I'm not going to twist it real tight up to the front. I'm just kind of twisting it as I go up. Because I'm going to coil this now. Okay. So this is my twist off. That's how I finish it. Okay. So put that there. And now I'm going to, um, that's too much. I don't need that much. The less you have, the better. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to turn it. In case you haven't seen this before. I'm just going to take this and turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. Not too tightly because I don't want to break anything. And I'll just place it down in there, push it with my finger now. That's good. It doesn't matter if it's all perfect on the back because this is, oh, that's the front. Yeah, it does matter. Wait a minute. No, it's not. This is the back. See, you can't even tell. I've got so much stuff on the back of this. And part of it's to provide dimension on the front. But some of this, if I had thought a little bit better, it wouldn't have had to been there, you know? So anyway, but no, this is good. Good enough. So now, 
we've got it all ready so that we can hang a chain from it. Chain, chain, chain. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a few bead sections, you know, and then um, so we can get a feel for it and see how the finished thing is gonna look a little bit. And then I'm gonna probably be done for today because we pretty much used up our time and yeah. you guys are probably sick of looking at me today. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do just a few so I can set them up here and you'll get a feeling for them. So now what I'm gonna do, this is the 28, I need the heavy duty. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull off a little bit. I'll pull off maybe four. And I'm gonna try to make them all the same length. And that will help to guide me. I hope this is long enough. I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. I just put that bead in the middle to kind of get an idea for. So I don't have a precise measurement to give you. Okay. If I was writing a, a tutorial, I would have to have that though. Um, somebody asked, how large are the bead, beaded focals? What diameter should curl are you starting with? Um, well, I say for this kind of work, if you can use threes and fours millimeter, you know, beads, and they do make a lot of threes now. We had a few show up this week, but we don't have anything done with them yet. Um, yeah, the smaller the better for all this twisting around. Now, of course, this is going to be bigger because it's kind of a focal piece, and this is too. These are, hmm, 10 maybe, 12 millimeter, these. Um, but they're your focals. But yeah, you know, you should stay like three and four mostly. A few of them are sixes. I think these are. But yeah, three and four is better. Um, I found that out too when I was making this. I do have a lot of little ones on them, but if you get a lot of big ones and then you put small ones next to it, you put a lot, you still get, end up getting a lot of play on the wire and then the wire shows, which I hate. So yeah, stay as small as you can. These are the hibiscus flowers. They're seven millimeter. We have some on the website. Hello from Becca, yeah. Ohio. From Bethel, Ohio. What's your Linda. name? Linda Hughes. Hi, Linda. Thank you for coming. I remember inviting you. Glad you came. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, I was making these. Okay, so I'm going to start out, of course, by, you know, this is going to be my bead section. So I'm going to go down about to here. And we'll look and see how much. Yeah, yeah. That should be right, right? Okay, so let's just measure so we know. How far we went. So beautiful. The idea are multiplying It's not quite an now. inch. Okay? Not quite an inch. Okay, so now... And here's the thing. Okay, there's stuff that's about this that <clears throat> could be done better. Some of you might be over there clenching your teeth and saying, No, no, we're not going to do that. You know, I'm going to learn. And you, feel, you should feel free to suggest to me, I don't want to be ignorant and say, well, I made a lot of these and blah, blah, blah. You know, no. I have to be respectful of the fact that there are people here who are real beaters, you know, who know more about the whole beating process than I do. And I can learn from them. So I welcome you to come and I welcome you to give me your ideas because, um, like I say, I am untrained. But it works and that's what I also say. You know, if something works, it's sturdy, it's not going to fall apart, it's not going to scratch anybody, then don't worry about it. But. Don't worry about it. But. Now the diameter of the focal. This one, yeah, 12. The big, the, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they want the size. Yeah, this size from no, side No, 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 the side of the pendant. Oh, how side? Oh, this? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you. Measure. And yours could be bigger or smaller, but this is just how big mine is. Okay? I think that's what they were trying to ask. Okay. Uh, I'm a little dense. The wider for me, yeah, that's what you meant. Okay. This is the widest part here, I think, so. Two and a half. It's about two and a half inches. Yeah. And then going this way, it's about two. It's not too bad. So this is a heart that is broader rather than longer. 
And, you know, you could do it either way. You could make this longer if you want. You know, it's just whatever shape is pleasing to you, you should do. Okay, so I'm just putting a few little, you know, these little, little tiny beads on here. And then I'm going to put... Oh, no problem. My big bead. Nobody's ever late. And nope. it, you can rewatch all you want because it's always going to be here. As long as there's a YouTube, this will be on there. I don't think <laughs> they're going to take me off. Now, this is fighting me. It doesn't want to go through here. And I don't know why because I know 20 bits. Of, oh, I just had to go the other way. That's all. That's all. Don't get worked up, Brent. I just go the other way. Alrighty. So now I'm going to put another little uh, cappy type thing in one of these. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this. It's going to, I like to get my loops going like out, not like this. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. I just like them that way. That's me. So if you like them going the other way, then fine. Do it. That's preference. I know some probably some really good beater would probably say, no, 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 you should do this. And they'd probably be right. And, it, you know, they probably have a reason, too. You know, but this is what appeals to me visually so at this point in time this is what I do okay so now I gotta put, pull this down pretty good so it'll be nice and tight but once again I have to be careful that I don't end up with a broken bead and see this twisted so now I gotta twist this whole thing I gotta pull this up again and I gotta get it going this way beautiful alright so that's still fighting me. That's what's so fun about beating. Constantly learning and experimenting, etc. I love learning from you. <laughs> Carol. Well, you were very kind. Thank you, Carol. I wish I had more to teach you about this. It's, it's assemblage. It's That's how I approach wire it. Wires. It's assemblage. It's just on wire. Yeah. And we're using beads. Oh, thanks, Carl. But you know, these same beads are the ones I used in the mosaic class last year. When we were embedding stuff into epoxy scope, remember that? These beads are perfect for that. And we made so many pretty things. But yeah, if you're not careful, you don't watch yourself, if you just use any old bead, um, you can get a lot of money into it, you know. So you have to think, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? All right. I'm just going to let this go because I don't want to fly it. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. It's, it's good enough so that I can move it. So. Sorry. <laughs> I'm blowing on this beat. What are you doing? I'm painting this out. <laughs> oh, she's pa oh, she's got a purple one. I got a purple. <laughs> she's got a purple one. That's Javi taught that class this afternoon. She taught I should have taught him how to paint. <laughs> yeah. She can, well, you can do that in another video. Yeah, that? there you go. Show you how to paint the owl. And fill the little holes up. <laughs> okay, there's it's totally fighting me. And then so what I do is this. You're gonna fight me, okay? I'll show you his boss. Yeah, tell him. <laughs> you do. Take one end of it and this end of it. Yeah, there you go. Twist, twist it. it. Yeah. All That's right. What I done. <laughs> so here's what it's gonna look like. You can see. I'll make one more for the other side. You can get a good look. But then what I'm going to do... Do you want to put chain for the rest of the And you know what? I don't know if I want to put this right away. I'm going to ask you guys. Should I put a little chain first, some pretty chain in here first, then some more pretty chain in another section? You could always use connectors, too. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Just like, what you know, like a gold connector. So what connector like would you use? I don't know. Probably, um, I would like a, ca have a cast one because the brass one will be too flat and won't look weird. A cast one. Okay. Yeah. So oh, we have flower to cast one. <gasps> yeah, we'll have to see. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look and see. We no, probably have look. something. We have a lot of connectors. Yes, we do. A great. And connector. it wouldn't matter if it's 1928 or if it's cast zinc or whatever. I've been bringing you know, a lot of the cast zinc because um, I pretty. just think it's just about as good. Yeah. It doesn't have as much detail. And when they plate it, it's it's not like our plating. You know, it's good enough. You know, but it's. Oops. But it's, you also save a lot of money using it, so and we got to think of that too. With gas being five, six dollars a gallon, you know, we got to think about that. Sadly. Okay, so I'm turn it over here. I don't want to cut my finger. Yeah, I don't go anywhere either, hardly. 
for the doctors. Oh, wait, there was 20% off in uh, TJ what? Maxx. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we're not talking about TJ Maxx. <laughs> That's true. Sorry. I don't know why I went there. <laughs> My bad, guys. That was only for me. Yeah, the store's always got some big sale going on. Well, it's not for an anybody else. It's just for it's employees just, only. <laughs> well, who works there that you Rob. Know? Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> Duh. Spouse yeah, only he, gets... He the... works in the warehouse. Yep. Okay, so I got my hole. Oh, oh, so now I'm going to put this... Oh, I better put some more paint in here. Remember, we had 20% off on the Shop by Color, guys. So you can pretty much pick up all these beads and everything. That's true. Because they're in the they, Shop by yeah, Color. they are. A lot of them in Shop by Color. And not only that, I changed it so that there's no minimum. Yeah, and, and, the, and the code is right. Shop Color, yeah. all caps. Woohoo! Shop Color, see? Dee -dee. Shop color, all caps, no space. Shop no color. space. And that's everything in the shop by color and no minimum. section. And there's no minimum order. So if you see something for five bucks and you like it, you check out. Yeah, you check get, it out. <laughs> you're going to get 20% off. Mm -hmm. And if that stuff so doesn't good. suit you, you know, you'd rather just shop the whole site, not just that. Then what you can do is you can do that. And you can, if you have 70, if you have oh, $75, and I reduce that too. If you have $75 in your cart, then you can use code 15 and get 15% off absolutely everything on the website except, of course, classes, kits, my book, and that he had muses. But like every other thing, all the mixed media, all the chain, all the beads, all the stampings, all the, you know, Beast from 1928, all that, if you use 15. And that's all going to be through Monday. And then, of course... Um, 15 is capitalized. Yeah, it's all, they're all capitalized. all capitalized. No spaces. No spaces. And then, um, I don't know if you saw it, but last week, Colleen won a big, big box. And her box is on the way. Maybe she'll get it tomorrow. I hope so. Maybe she'll show you well, what's in it. I want to see. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there. I, there's over $100 worth of retail stuff in there. And it's in a box. It's and, in a box. Uh, and I'm doing it again this week. I'm going to give it away. Come on, guys. You guys got to shop with us. To, to win, all you got to do is put in an order. So you could put in a little tiny shop by color order, and you could still be entered into it, and you can end up taking maybe that I, thing. Maybe I can give him a little owl. <laughs> you're gonna, are you going to you gonna give the winner a little owl? Yeah, a little owl. Are you going to help, too? Yeah, I'll help. Okay, well, show them what they're getting. Of course, okay. he looks kind of funny with them. But not this one. one. I'll give him a plain one so oh. they can color oh. it. <laughs> She's not coloring it for you. You get to do it. She's not going to give you a finished one. I don't know what they like. Well, hopefully they know what it is when they get it. So what is this? What this child you guys... made this? <laughs> no. So I, 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 oh, made, I made a couple owls here, and that was from our class. Yeah. So that's what was from the class earlier today. And if you if you guys shop with us, maybe you guys will get the special owl, and then you can colorize it. Yeah, with acrylic paint. And here I'm doing a purple one here right now. Look at that. It looks like a box. Because Javi's the purple girl. What color are you gonna use for his eyes? I don't know yet. Gold? I was still thinking about it. Oh, gold would be nice. I like gold and purple. Yeah. So gold and purple. Gold and purple and all of them. That's more gold colors. <laughs> okay, so I got two of them now, guys. Like a popsicle. I gotta twist that because it's going the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we'll give him a little so owl head. She's gonna get an owl head. It's but a you're gonna get a lot more than that. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot more. Yeah, I, I, I don't put know what else. All kinds about. of mixed media stuff in there. Get a special I put one some miscellaneous kind of this and that <laughs> that I had, and just all kinds of doofus. If Colleen is gonna love it. She'll be using that stuff for a long time. Okay, so anyway, so maybe you'll win. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, going on up, a connector is obviously, you know, the Space Needle yes. connector. <gasps> that would not be a bad idea. Would I would actually there. like that. I don't know. We might be getting low on them, but. Oh, no. I think we have, like, up. I better go look instead of talking. I got to put another <laughs> order in it now, but, you know, he's put all of his customers on cash only, and that includes me. So I have to save up the money first before I can buy it. <laughs> so we'll have to see how we do in the next few weeks. I'm just go, hoping to get an order in before the end of this month because then they go on a vacation and I won't end up getting it till the end of July. 
and then till it comes here, I resort it, send it to Plater. Won't have it till the middle of August. And that's just pitiful. But it's better than not getting it at all, right? Yeah. In the meantime, there are some nice things there still. A lot of them. Okay, so that's going to give you an idea, isn't it, guys? What you got? Oh, I don't know. Do we have nine left? I, said, I don't think we have a lot. And gold, of course. And the silver, yeah. we got like 91, but... Yeah, but it won't work on this. Unless, no. Oh, no, unless you make yours with silver wire, which you could. You don't have to That's use true. gold. Do yours with silver wire, then you could use the silver space needles if you wanted to. Yeah. Or just, you know, this is another a a good use <laughs> for scrap chain. We talked about that earlier today in the class, too. You know, never throw a piece of chain away. Even if it's only a short little link, never, ever throw it away. Because there's always uses for it, like, like as a little connector or as an earring. You know, there's always, there are always so many uses for it, never throwing it out. And then what you do is in a case like this, and this is probably what I'm going to do, <clears throat> is go back through, find a piece I like, and put it in there using that connect. What's this? What color is this? Oh, that's silver, so I don't want that. Like some beaten link chain maybe in silver. I know I have some down in my basket. But just to, just to give you an idea, now this is silver, so we'll be using this, but bead link chain probably would be a nice, yeah, that would look good. I would like that. Okay, and of course, you don't have to do this part that I did. You know, you just use the loop on it. You know, make yourself a loop. I like to make myself the loop when I'm working so I know where my middle is. But at the end, sometimes I move it. Or I even twist it off and cut it off and do something else. So, and if you wanted to, you could use um, some bigger beads on this if you'd rather. If you think it would look better with me. You know, whatever you think. But now we've got the focal in the middle, which I was saying that would be good. And does an order place this afternoon count? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're already in, Kate. I saw you. Definitely. Yours. Yeah. Anybody going back to uh, Tuesday? So... If you ordered since then, you're in. So I will say it has been slow, so whoever did order has got a really good chance to win. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but, you know, you'll have that in the summertime. I always worry about how we're going to get through summer, but, you know, I shouldn't worry because we always do. We always do. We, we always do from you guys. We Thank manage. You. We do. We find a way. Find you know what? In this, too, I also have a few little really? semi-precious... Uh, Stone chips, too. So, you know, here's and this is what you do it. with your owl if you want to decorate it. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. It looks cute. I yeah. like him. I'm going to keep him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make more. Yeah, cute. <laughs> yeah you got to make another one to go the other side and just like it. Yeah, that'd mm -hmm. be so That's cute. That's cute. Okay, honey. So, we're going to sign off, guys. Yeah. Because Jordan was waiting for me and he wanted to go home. He's probably already mad out there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to laugh. <laughs> okay, so um, we're just going to take off now. Yeah. Uh, unless anybody has it. Do you guys. Don't forget to do. We're doing a drawing here. <laughs> yeah. Do you have um, any yeah. questions? Any questions before we go? Yeah. Yeah, that's any, or that's any order any size is an entry. So even a small, tiny order counts. And we don't give big orders uh, precedence over little ones. We just... We go back to when it started, and we count everybody, and then we just do the random thing. I don't pick it. It just is a random number thing, and whoever gets it, gets it. You know, so if you yeah, are the one true. that gets it, that's that comment, though. <laughs> that's great. I'm hoping for too long I go back and do a box. You know, we enjoyed that for a while, and then I quit doing that because I, I was getting pooped out on it. And I think, oh, you yeah. guys, I think you guys were, too, because the last one... I just now sold the last one for January, and it's June. So, and I don't make that many. I make like 30 boxes, 35. Maybe I made 40. I don't know. I don't remember. Think you it's 40. not that many for as many that like, you know, the mm -hmm. concept. So, but it's just, you know, I think there's too many, you know. A lot of these companies, they do one every month, but they're yeah. just beads. There's nothing else in there. It just beads. And I was trying to curate it and make them all. Well, you got this thing, and you, did it and you could just complete your thing. You know, but it was getting expensive. And uh, I don't know if people just want beads is all, or 
I would, but you know, whatever. I, if I can think of something that I think you'll like, then I'll do it. Because it is fun to get that box in the mail. It is. Okay, well, thank you guys, too. You guys are wonderful. Yay! I made it through, and I wasn't too idiotic, I hope. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming. It yeah. was so wonderful of you to come. And um, if you get a chance to shop us out this weekend, there are rewards. Okay? So, all right, we love you. We're going to take off. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.